is World Prematurity Day, but as the March of Dimes works to raise awareness on premature births, here in Fargo, it's lost its presence. Valley News Team's Rose Itzkovitz looks into funding cuts and what it means for the organization here in Fargo. Diane Drogi of the March of Dimes says the need for women and babies health programs in North Dakota is large, and that's largely due to disparity. The preterm birth rate among American Indian women in North Dakota is 48 percent higher than the rate of other women. The March of Dimes wants to start at least three programs to help decrease that gap. One of those is through pregnancy care, but that's one of the things that we are looking to fund right now. In North Dakota. But that's if funding allows. An anonymous source tells us that nationally, the nonprofit had a goal last year to cut $28 million in spending. Many local offices were closed, like this one here in Fargo. The new office renters tell me it had been vacated since at least September. Drogi says lately it's a struggle for all nonprofits, in part due to the economy. All nonprofits across the board are, you know, have had a couple of tough years since 2008. And a crowded nonprofit market. With the advent of social media, you know, there's a lot, it's a lot easier for these nonprofits and other businesses in general to contact you. And just the sheer number of nonprofits has gone up. But Drogi says cutting costs of buildings helps keep the money where it needs to go. In Fargo, Rose Iskowitz, Valley News Live. And the March of Dimes says a new maternal child health director for Fargo has been hired. Also, no word on whether another office will open, but we're told many directors are now working virtually on that.